You're watching Telecom TV from SCWS World 2017 in London. And I'm joined now by Prabhakar Chitrapu, who is Chair of the Technology and 5G Working Group at the Small Cells Forum. Prabhakar, thanks for joining us on Telecom TV. How does the Small Cells Forum approach technical development work? Thanks, Guy. Um, so Small Cell Forum is uh, organized in, term, in terms of several working groups. And uh, one of the working groups is uh, called Technology and 5G Working Group, for which I'm the chairman. And uh, the way we um, approach uh, you know, the small cell forum uh, or small cell related technology work is, uh, the forum as a whole has two broad uh, work streams. So one is called um, the hyperdense networks, and the second is called the digitized enterprise. So at the um, highest level, we have interactions for, with the uh, champions of these two work streams. We also have inputs from the, um, the board, the forum board, uh, and, uh, and then we uh, try to figure out uh, what specific questions we need to answer in these two work streams. And, uh, and that's how we create uh, several work items. And actually, I, we have identified about 14 uh, work items right now. And of course, we are sort of uh, uh, timing them. So we, we handle a few now, and then uh, we're working on the others in future. So are the technical requirements for these two separate streams different? Yes. In fact, that's exactly the goal of, uh, you know, the, uh, the spirit behind defining these work items. What we like to do when we pursue these work items is two things. One. We like to provide a uh, overview, kind of an educational material, so that you know operators across the world and vendors are um, you know they have a full picture of what the particular topic in a, uh, or the technology behind the topic really involves. Then we uh, also try to seek or find out if there are special requirements for this particular uh, uh, you know uh, use case or application and. Um, so once we determine that, we try to check it against existing uh, solutions or standards that are being developed by different groups. And uh, uh, where there is a match, we identify and document them. And where there is a gap, we identify those as well. And then we take an appropriate action to uh, address those gaps. And there are, <clears throat> broadly speaking, two different ways in which we can address these gaps. One is, if it falls within the purview of one of the existing um, you know, uh, standards bodies, external standards, standards bodies such as 3GPP, what we do is we produce a document called uh, MR, uh, a, a requirements document uh, from the Small Cell Forum, which is uh, generally characterized as the MRO. It stands for Market Representation or Representing Organization. So it has the weight of the entire forum and we submit these requirements to that particular organization. So this is the first way we address the gaps. The second is, if there is no existing standards organization that addresses the, or you know, in whose purview these gaps fall, then we take it upon ourselves and then we um, try to develop the necessary solutions or recommendations and document them and publicize them. So obviously collaborating with other industry groups is a key approach. Absolutely, absolutely. And, uh, um, uh, and I, I, I'd like to say, and I'm quite proud to say that um, the Small Cell Forum, um, on, on one hand, I think it's a very open, welcoming organization uh, to building these bridges. I like to think of them as bridges, actually, you know. And, uh, and the second is that we have, uh, in, to, rec to our record, we have several successful collaborations. I myself was involved with uh, uh, several years of very fruitful collaboration work with WBA, the uh, Wi-Fi um, uh, 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 Wireless Broadband Alliance, and uh, we produce some very good work. Um, right now, we are working with um, you know several other organizations such as um, you know the CBRS Alliance um, and uh, XRAN um, and you know organizations like that. So certainly, this is a very important aspect of our, our work. As operators, and indeed some enterprises, start to study 5G and develop their approaches, what is the Small Cells Forum doing to position small cells in the evolution to 5G? First of all, we like to 
make a slight distinction uh, just because you know 5G has become a buzzword and there is being used in so many uh, so many connotations so many connotations one is the uh, 3GPP oriented definition of 5G so this will include the definition of the new radio and the uh, new core network now the second is that 5G is also supposed to be a framework for um, you know uh, enabling many many different types of services uh, you know open up new business opportunities um, etc so that's what we call a 5G era so with this distinction in mind if you start from the 5G era perspective you know we can clearly see that there are several um, uh, you know business cases business opportunities uh, that exist even today and in fact some of this can be even realized uh, on existing LTE advanced uh, networks. So, so what we are therefore trying to do in our small cell forum is to keep that in mind and then start with the three identified pillars of the 5G era. And one of them is called the um, Enhanced Mobile Broadband, EMBB. The second is called the Ultra Reliability and uh, Low Latency Communication. And the third is called the Massive IoT. Now, these are well known and uh, there are several organizations that are looking at them. But we want to take a, uh, um, a small cell perspective. And, 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 the, and the way I like to paraphrase this is we, were, we would like small cells to drive 5G and we want small cell development to be driven by 5G. So we try, try to take this bidirectional uh, philosophy and um, so we are actually working on uh, three work items. One related to each of these three pillars and uh, uh, but very quickly focusing in on what small cells can bring to the table uh, in terms of these pillars. So what are the major technical issues that are being addressed today? One of the major um, uh, technical issues that needs to be addressed is the, uh, an integrated management and orchestration. Uh, um, actually when we say densification, um, we, we also should take into account the heterogeneity because that's really the nature of the networks today. Um, uh, multiple types of networks as well as uh, many, many of them. So uh, what the, the, um, uh, a very important aspect of such networks is their um, self-organizing capabilities and management of them, the orchestration of them. So what we are, what we are going to be working on is um, you know, a, work, a, white, a, a white paper that is focusing exactly on this. How does the SON, how does the orchestration management framework look like for such a hyper-dense network? And one of the key challenges would be <clears throat> to maintain a uniform experience. Because as you have multiple islands of small cell networks um, and, and possibly of different uh, radios, um, one of the very important elements that we need to keep in mind would be the uh, uniformity and consistency of experience. So we'll be addressing that as well. Prabhakar, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.